Tonight, we have a spike in carjackings to tell you about right here in the city. That's right. A man narrowly dodges a bullet outside a public park before giving up his car. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on the incident tonight. Jeff? Kelly, the victim survived the ordeal with little more than a scratch, but it served as a stark reminder of just how violent car thieves have become. Some come to Federal Hill Park to walk their dogs, while others come to take in the breathtaking views. But on Monday night at 7.30, a pair of men came to Warren Street, here bordering the park, for a carjacking. It's barely even dark yet, you know, so that's really scary to hear. Police say this time a 26-year-old man suffered a grazed wound to the neck before handing over the keys to his gray Ford Fusion. I can't say I'm surprised. You hear about stuff all the time around here. Back in January in Federal Hill, three suspects stole a woman's car at gunpoint and a matter of seconds had passed since Michael Hoff spotted them outside his home. Ten seconds later, I hear this blood-curling scream from inside my house. And quite frankly, because there was two guys and a girl, I thought initially it might just be this kid's just, you know, rough house and having fun. But something just told me that the scream wasn't a normal scream. As Baltimore struggles with murders and fatal shootings, it appears to be confronting a rise in carjackings across the city. Last week, we learned that there is a 30% spike in carjackings with 400 already this year. It adds to a violent picture of the city where every neighborhood is impacted. I can tell you that people are not coming to Baltimore, people are leaving Baltimore, and the good people of Baltimore deserve better. As they rethink their safety and what many have long viewed as some of the city's safest places to live. I think this is unassuming, too, and people kind of are uh, maybe a little, I don't know, not expecting anything to happen around here, and you kind of just go about your night and go to your house or car, but um, and it's, quiet. it's quiet. While the victim suffered a graze wound in last night's carjacking, police say paramedics treated him at the scene and he refused transport to a local hospital.